Breaking news, MK political party have written to parliament a look, uh, with an, look th th there's an indication that they want to remove 15 of their members from parliament. And I know uh, you are now asking, hey, what's going on? I've got a letter in front of me. I've got an, uh, I don't know whether I, I should call it um, is a letter or what, but yeah, um, <laughs> there's something that is happening. Uh, there's a reshuffle, if I may say, that is currently happening. And uh, it's a bit worried because uh, one will ask that MK party hasn't reached a point where they stabilize and they can run the political party smoothly, if I can if I could use such a word. Because you will remember that there's this constant changes. Not long ago, there was uh, a report on the media that... Uh, the spokesperson of AMK political party, which is Uata Zwane, was also was chased away, and it it causes a lot, or it caused a lot of um, of it caused a lot of uh, I, I don't know how how to get it, but there's this instability. At the same time, one can also say that Julius Malema, in his speech, he once said, "They as EFF." They had their own fair share of everything. They, they experienced a similar situation where they've gone from one leader to another. They've gone from one reshuffle to another. So he said that he's hopeful that they will get to the point where, or to a point where, they, they, they stabilize and they can, they can uh, find a situation. They, they can, they, they, they will eventually find themselves in a situation where they run the political party smoothly. But they will have their own fair share of problems. So maybe one can say it is that time where they are going through quite a lot. These changes present an imbalance. There's a person by the name of um, there's a person by the name of uh, wait, uh, Bulelan Phillips at Bulelan Philip, not Phillips Philip. Uh, this person I think works for ESABC. Wrote this breaking news: Parliament confirms that MK Party has returned to the Speaker, indicating it has taken a decision to remove. 15 of its MPs, one five of MK party MPs, has been removed. Just like that. Oh. I don't know what, <laughs> like, I don't know what to make of it. Somebody commented and said, MK party will eat itself. I don't know what that, what does that mean? Uh, like, <laughs> Some people are not happy with the changes, like the constant changes, if I may say. But the question is, what is the cause of all these changes? Because definitely there must be a cause for all of the changes. What is the cause for you not to do this? If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also, guys, want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed oh well 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 so let's talk about the following right uh, it has been reported by this person it says parliament thursday on, on thursday 8 of august 
2024, Parliament confirms that it has received a correspondence from MK Party advising the Speaker of the National Assembly for its decision to remove one, five, 15 of its members from the National Assembly. According to the Constitution, a person loses membership of a National Assembly if they cease to be a member of the party that nominated them to the Assembly. Hmm. I, mm -mm. S uh, simultaneously, the speaker has received an email correspondence of the persons on the party's reserve list indicating their, uh, look, their unavail unav uh, inavailability to fill any vacancy in the National Assembly. The email were submitted through the party's chief whip in parliament. The speaker is currently considering these correspondence and a decision will be made in due course issued by Parliament of the Republic of South Africa. That is what I'm reading. So I will assume that this guest or this person specifically works for the SAPC. And how? why am I saying that? It's because, um, it is because this person says hashtag, the hashtag that this person used was hashtag SAPC news. That, that's why I'm saying, I'm, I'm assuming. And then it was retweeted by um, a person, uh, this presenter called uh, Tembegi, I think it's Tembegi Lemkhototo, who also works for E94.7 with Anelem daughter the if i'm not mistaken i think she's part and she, uh, look he's part and person of that team uh, the same person who has tweeted this is also a person who works on a uh, presenter on a show called uh called the big debate in south africa that's the person who reposted that the reason i'm mentioning that is because i'm trying to prove the credit i'm trying to show you the credibility of this that um people who people who uh, people who, I don't know. <sighs> Why would you say it's unheard of? No, it is. It's, um, <coughs> it's possible, it's allowed uh, per the parliamentary rules um, that you can replace members uh, sworn in or not in the National Assembly. And this is what we're doing. Um, I think maybe let's put context to this. What happened? Our candidate lists um, that were submitted to the IEC in effect, was sabotaged. We even opened the case uh, to that extent at the Santon Police Station, where we cited uh, certain irregularities of names that were input there that were not supposed to be there. One of those being the prominent President Zuma. I mean, our strategy was never to have him on the list in the first place, <coughs> and only to then bring him on later stage as we did with uh, Judge Trope. Now, what has happened is uh, we then communicated at the point of swearing in with the 12 members. Now, when I say 12, there's six names that were there that we never got sworn in, and then there were the 12 that were sworn in. And we had to communicate to them. And we engaged with them in a civil manner to inform them that this is the situation and they have to be replaced. And when I talk about sabotage, I'm talking about people who are putting in friends, community members, and family and members um, onto our list. And uh, so we communicated with them that, you know, they have to be replaced at some point. So they had given two options as allowed by Parliament. We consulted the Parliament. And um, they decided to still go ahead and be sworn in, of which still is allowed by Parliament. Now that they're being replaced, um, you know, there's nothing untoward. Uh, this is something they knew was going to happen. Because the names that are now replacing them are the same names uh, that were ought to... Uh, be on the on our list in the first place. Whose responsibility was it to compile the list? Well, we had entrusted uh, certain members of the party, comrades, who have now been expelled. And part of the reasons why they were expelled was for exactly that. And remember, we've always been highlighting the issue of being infiltrated in all sorts of rogue elements. And we've been having to deal with that. We've been having to clean up. You know, we're a young organization. We are forming structures. And now... I don't know what what to say about it, but also, oh, who's this person? There's a member. Oh, look, as a member of Umkonto Sizwe, 
um, the spokesperson Unlela uh, 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 confirms this. Um, Kontawesi party is replacing 18 of its members of the National Assembly. The bulk of them was sown less than two months ago on the 25th of June. MK spokesperson Lamolandela says uh, many of those who were on the list to, uh, were not supposed to be there in the first place. Hmm. Quite interesting. I'm going to play you that video. Uh, I'm going to give you that information from E. From e I think I was talking to E Newsroom Africa, if I'm not mistaken. So. There's that thing that uh, they have confirmed, even e MK Party has confirmed that, yes, something like this did happen, where the it's actually, instead of 18, actually instead of 15, it's actually 18 people, right, that must be replaced, that will be replaced by the MK Party. Uh, yeah, so for me, I'm saying, in a way, I do understand what is happening, because it is bound to happen. This is a political party that is uh, that is resonating with a lot of South Africans, and because of that, it is bound to attract everybody, and everybody looks genuine from a distance. Probably not even genuine. Uh, sometimes it's not even a matter of genuine; it's a matter of capabilities. Are you capable to deliver in parliament or not? If you're not capable in to deliver in parliament, so why should you be part and parcel of this? I think that's the question that MK Party uh, finds itself in, where they needed to answer that. But yeah. Uh, when Newsroom Africa was talking about, uh, was talking to, was talking with Ulthamon and Leila, they were asking or contesting that, and he was like, but it's legal. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It is still with, it's still within the law that we should do something of that nature. So I would love to play you the video where Ulthamon and Leila was speaking about that. Uh, yeah. J I'm just interested in your thoughts and opinion about it. Do you, what, 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 what do you make of it? Maybe that's the right question. What do you make of the situation where you've got an MK party? Uh, you've got an MK party changing. Or there's a lot of changes within an MK party. What do you make? Maybe my last statement on this one should be, eh, mm, what best can I say this? Uh, okay, I, I've, I've said it before that every organization goes through a, fra a phase where you have attracted a lot of people, but to keep up with that, it becomes a different ball game altogether. You can't keep up with everything that is happening. You can't. I mean, uh, uh, ew, I, I just, I'm losing a way of expressing myself in this one. Let me say it this way. When you start an organization, you are bound to attract people. But the question is, the people that you attract, are they, the ra are they, have you attracted the right people with the right capabilities to further the interest of the organization? Or you have attracted people, people that might be good, but not in a leadership position. Because the reason I'm saying that is because every organization suffers that, be it small, medium, or big. Non-profit organization, they suffer the same thing. It's a non thing that you are bound to attract people whom on the later stage you will end up regretting inviting them over. It's always a case. It does happen. Every organization goes through that. So you can't be hard on MK Party. Here's a perfect example about it. EFF, for instance. EFF went through the same process. They once had the likes of Abo Andilem Kutama, who's now a member of MK Party. Why did they have to fire them? Because they went to that, po the, that, that phase where certain things did not make sense. They needed to make the changes. To name the few. Uh, Mandisa Mashako. Where is Mandisa Mashako? She's not a member of MK, uh, sorry, not a member of EFF anymore. Just to name the few. But if if you can if if you think about it, every organization goes through that. Uh, EFF had a problem uh, right recently where there was an uproar about uh, this lady, uh, na lady Chirwa Chirwa Chiwa or Chirwa something like that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? ANC is currently going through that, terminating the membership of Jacob Zuma. So the point I'm driving home here is. The, the more the organization grows, it's the, the lesser the problem it's experience, it, it will experience. But 
the, 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 the bottom line is that every organization must go through the phase that MK Party is undergoing. It's, it's a fact. It does happen to every organization. So does it come as a shock to me that they are going through that? No. My challenge is how do you manage that? You need to find a very strategic way of managing that. That will be my only challenge. Uh, I just wish to know on what grounds were they released? Oh, it's a confidential statement between an uh, employee and an employer? I don't know. Was it maybe on the basis that MK Party have discover, dis discovered that they are double agent? They work for MK Party while working for Nakano. Because if you listen to the words of o, if you listen to the words of Unjela, he says they were not supposed to be there from the first place. That words alone says a lot. What do you make of that? For me, it says a lot that maybe they don't want to dis uh, uh, disclose more. Le the reason I'm saying that is because you must remember, in the words of o, in the words of o, who's this person? In the words of um, in the words of um, oh yes, not in the words of um, but you remember MK Party when they fired Ulok uh, Uchablan Komad? Do you remember the reasons? One of the reasons they they, they advanced there, or one of their uh, arguments was that he's a double agent. They have found that he's playing for pot team. Remember that it was not only Chablan Komad that was fired. He was fired along with other people. So I'm saying, we need to check why. So when you hear that somebody is fired from the MK party, it's a cause for concern. You must be worried. What information have they received that led to that? Not that they shouldn't fire people. No, 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 no. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying people no, should not be with, uh, local, uh, withdrawn. The very same MK party, to remember that they had a, a crazy end coordinator, if I'm not mistaken, who was removed by the MK party uh, on stage. I think he mistakenly uh, shouted the name of ANC, something around those lines. He was removed. Uh, Bongose, for instance, was removed from his position. So... There's quite a lot that is happening from uh, uh, within the MK party that needs to be uh, studied. We need to understand, you know what I'm saying? As I feel like MK party must find a way of taking people into confidence like they did with Uchablan, where they took us into confidence. And now we had to add one plus one and say, oh, Jabs, Jay, you, the way the picture that was painted was that you bought a two million rand car with another million rand car, two houses, one in Umtanga. Umtanga, yes, I think, I'm not sure. I think around that. Umtanga. Uh, yeah, like, then they took us into confidence in that they asked, they, they asked him a question to say, where did you get this money suddenly? And that is what he couldn't account. And thus, he got fired. So I'm saying... It helps in terms of making your constitu uh, constituency, constituency understands what is happening, why the changes. It, ve it, look, it, it does, it, it goes a long way. That's the word I was looking for. Because you don't want to keep people speculating about why is MK Party going through whatever it is going through. Lastly, I think also the question that there's that something that needs to be explained by MK Party is the issue of the Secretary General of MK Party. That needs to be explained. Why? Because uh, there is dark clouds following him. Is he leaving? Is he staying? Is he gone? The MK Party needs to explain the things that probably we don't understand. Because if you follow MK Party, you get affected by this more Lanyana things that are happening here. Whether it's a me look a, a, a media campaign getting re trying to get the trying to disturb the MK party. W I think such needs to be communicated to, to the people so people can understand. We make videos about it, make giving more clarity 
but then the leadership must take, um, yeah, they must explain that. <laughs> yeah, I'm back. I'm back with another bang. You and I, guys, will meet in the next video.